Morning YouTube, Nick Pomfret from Pomfret's Pythons just going to give you uh, an update on our latest clutch which was male bumblebelly to female pastel yellow belly. Ironically we got fantastic odds and we got two ivories in the clutch but first let's meet the parents. This is the male which is the bumblebelly and the father of the clutch this guy's popping with colour. If you look at the crazing around the edge of his belly that's a sign of the yellow belly trait but you cannot see the flaming that usually occurs because he's such a bright yellow and it all blends in. Fantastic head markings on this guy and bright turquoise eyes but we can't you can see that nice snake really electric colours right so that's a male that was the father Now move on to the female which is the mother of the clutch. She's a pastel yellow belly but the yellow belly traits are more obvious with her. Again the crazing pattern along the edge of the stomach, the checkering but you can see the flames on her, the, the yellow belly gene causes. Again look at the sides and her eyes are something else. Really nice friendly snake. Fantastic pattern on her on her head here. It's like a little fork. Three pronged fork really friendly snake and now that's the mother now we'll move on to the clutch the clutch hasn't yet shed but two of the babies are going into shed it looks like we've got two ivories We've got three pastel yellow bellies, a bumblebee and a bumblebelly. Now two of these are looking a bit smoky eyed so they're going into shed. But I'll show you them anyway. I'll show you the pastel yellow bellies first. three of them but as you can see by the colouring that one's looking smoky eyed and going into shed the other two aren't ready but you can see the fantastic blushing these guys are a carbon copy of the mum I'll just put the one back that's going into shed fantastic can you see the yellow belly, the, the flames along the edge and the crazy, the flames up here and the crazy pattern along the edge which is classic yellow belly. And the other one is more or less the same. There are all these three snakes are virtually the same with the the flames and the checkered patterning fantastic little pastel yellow bellies now we've got the bumblebee and the bumblebelly 
the bumblebell is going into shed you can see how uh, smoky and she's not as bright but this is the bumblebee and for the course of the colouring can you see there's not much sign of any checker in which is the classic sign that there'd be yellow belly present still a fantastic bumblebee though and now the bumble belly, although she is going into shed, you can see the difference. Can you see the checkering? The flames aren't as obvious, but this checkering pattern along the edges is classic signs of yellow belly. So that's a bumblebee and a bumble belly. We also got Save the last till, till be, the best till last. Two ivories. Now this one we think is a pure ivory and this one is an ivory mixed with a different gene. You can see the pure ivory is a whiter colour. This ivory is a slightly off white and it's got head markings. Now we think more markings will, faint markings will come out as this, uh, uh, this guy gets older. This is a male. Nice little snake. We think it's either an ivory pastel or an ivory spider. More markings, if you look closely, are coming more visible along his body. And his sister is fantastic pure ivory really lovely little snake okay YouTube them back on the shelf. All the other snakes are now separated out apart from two from the last clutch that have yet to shed. As they shed I'm separating, separating them and putting them in their own separate tubs. So everything's gone all right we've had a fantastic first season. Um, Thanks for watching and I'll up, update you on the various clutches as they grow, shed, shed out and get older. Nick Pomfret signing out. Please subscribe and comment. Thanks for watching. Pomfret's Pythons.